Okay, so the plan here today, I'm pretty sure, just to double check with Professor B, is we're going to start, you all got paper and pencil, right? Wow. This is college, gentlemen. It is for us to actually start drawing out some of these sheets and practice for them. So. What you want? What? So, Professor B, we're going to start drawing, and I'll do it on the back board. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start drawing out some yeah. transformer back, banks individually by person. Do you want these? Oh, you got them? Sweet! Yeah, yeah. I'm a heck yeah. So, he's got the actual ones that you were doing. I do. How many copies do you have? 30. 30? Excellent. Let's keep a spare copy there. I'll go to the printer and print. Mm -hmm. Or maybe 30. About 30. Yeah, it's already all over. Now, we didn't do, we didn't get into the wild bike yesterday. Well, let's go ahead and we'll start with that then. Okay. All right. So, let's hand them out. I want to give me one. I can't think of it. 7,200, Is that the right one? Yeah, that's right. So you got front and back on? Primary 7,200, primary 19, and primary 24. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big brothers watching him. Okay, so for you guys at home, if you could have a scratch piece of paper and something to write on. And I think I discussed all three of these with my class yesterday, so 
Eric and Logan. You'll be, uh, this will be just a double up for you. Shaw, this will be new for you. And I hate to say this, gentlemen, but I won't have my, I'm going to use that back door because I'll be all over your grill. I mean, that's disrespecting. Okay. So you're going to turn to the sheet that says primary 2400 slash 4160. Okay. I'll do the same on the bottom back here. On the back side of the white back. Back side of the white back. Both dips. Both dips on one side, white on the other side. So I'm going to draw in my A, B, C, and N. Guys, I'm trying to make it as big as possible so you can see it. Congratulations for your mask. Here you go. Okay, got it. And A, B, C, N. Uh, line out. What's the voltage for primary? Uh, 277.48, so we're just going to bump up the voltage for it. All right, let's start on the primary side. We've done this. AC, DD. 
AC, DD, AC, DD. And you can notice by the transformer I've got outside. Is everybody looking at it? I look inside that one right by the tree. tree? Yeah, you guys take a look inside of it. You can take a look at the leads and everything, and it's got a stamp on it, A, B, C, and D. Take a look at it. You have to pop the top of the transformer while you're on the job site. Take those leads off, swap them around, and reconnect them back up. While we're on that subject, don't drop the nugget on the transformer. Bad Guess what you got to do? Huh? Yeah, it's real. I have not ever been able, able to fish it with those stick magnets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's, it's all metal in there. Pretty much got to pull the hole out, capture it, get the nut out, refilter the hole, put it back in. It, it's a pain in the butt. Do not do that in the rain. Mm -hmm. Water and oil don't mix. So if they want you to make change over a transform, to a single voltage, get it under a shed if it's raining or something like that. Uh, this is probably one problem I probably found in the situation multiple times. What are you doing in the summertime when you work? Sweat. sweat. Don't drink sweat in there. As soon as you get water in there, it, it messes up the uh, dielectric of the transformers. Okay, so I got all my transformers ready to rock. This is my logic. I like to work left to right, and I like to work with the alphabet. Which connection am I going to take this H1 to? H1. H1's already there. Where do I go? A. How about H1 on this transform? B. Yeah, go with the alphabet. And how about H1 on this transform? C. Okay. That works for me. I'm going to tie all the other bushings in to see how many people remember this. Does this connect to the neutral and ground? Yeah, it does. Okay. Which one, which is the only one that does not connect to neutral and ground, has a floating neutral? A closed delta. delta. Stick that in your data banks. That's the only one that does not. Okay? So we're going to make a connection right here. Okay. Got all my connections made. What is my primary voltage? <coughs> 2400, 4160. Draw it in. If we connected the transformers to ABC, A to neutral, 2400. B to neutral, you can guess it, 2400. And C to neutral, 2400. There you go. I do it in this, it, I, this just happened. A to B, B to C, A to C. This is phase to phase now. 4160, 4160, 4160. Now I have, I don't, I'm okay with it. Are you okay with this, Professor D? Everybody draws the lines and puts in 2400 one time. I'm okay as long as you got the connecting lines right. Right. I'm okay with that. You're gonna have to draw it all three times. If you want to draw it all three times, go ahead. But as long as you've got connecting lines, phase to phase, A to B, 4160, B to C, A to C, 4160, you're good to go. Am I done with the primary side? Okay. Um, your desire, however you want to do this, is kind of one thing. How much voltage do I get? Here we go. How many wires come out of each individual transform? Two. Two, right? Because this one's empty, correct? Okay. So I'll use my right hand side, and I've got to get 277 out of it. Same as I did at the top. A, B, C. And you notice I used the right hand bushing every time. So I made contact with A phase, B phase, and C phase. Everything's rocking good so far. All right. What do I need to have a complete pack for current to flow? 
on a regular transformer, hit the ground, okay. On a regular transform, single phase, that's the hot wire coming in, the other side went to the ground. Good deal. So I'm going to come from here to here to here. My class, what do we call this? And probably the Reynolds class. What do we call that wire that spans and goes across all three transformers? Or sometimes two. For the kids, write it every day. Tie-in bus. All right. So I've made connection on the same bushing, the left-hand bushing every time, and I need a path to neutral and thus ground. Let me ask you this. Can I take a wire and go from here to neutral? Here to neutral and here to neutral. Yeah, but and not have to use the tie-in bus? Yeah, why is it a waste of wire? Yeah, yeah, that's a waste of wire. It's a ton of connections you're gonna have done. Well, I've got one, two, three connections where I only have to make one here and then the transformers themselves are interconnected. Okay. Done wiring. That's all the wiring I need to do for the secondary side. What's up? That's it. How did I do it here? A, B, C. A, B, C. What's the voltage here? 277. B? 277. C? How do I do it up here? A, B, B, C, A, C. A, B, B, C, A, C. What's my voltage? 480. 480. Good job. Uh, 480. 480. Stick me with it before I'm done. Professor, be anything that you'd like to include here? Yeah, I'll admit it's something from just watching you from yesterday. Guys in my class the, on the, the primary side of the transformative bushings, he said it was H1. They're designated H1, H2 on the top side right there. So just wanted my class to know that that's when he says H1, that's your incoming voltage in the transform H1. I'm going to throw a curve at you, Professor B. Yeah. My class, can I use H2 for the input? Yes. As long as what? You use H1. Or H1 for right. neutral. Right. You can swap. I can go to mm. H2, 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 and then move my ground to H1, H1, H1. Not common. Right. But electrically, it'll work as long as you use the same all the time. All right. So, you guys are familiar with closed belt and open belt, right? Where's my high leg on this bank? Secondary. I think somebody said it right away. What you said? There isn't one. Mm -hmm. There is no high leg. Okay, so let's pick on let's pick on the person. Okay. Why am I not getting five hundred and? 277 times 2. 554 volts. Right here. It's 277 phase to ground, right? Mm -hmm. Why, when I put phase to phase, two wires together, am I not getting 554 volts? Why are you not getting them? Why am I not getting I'm getting 480. Why am I not getting Oh, equals 554. Sure. That's okay. That's this is the learning process right here. Uh, let's see. Grant. Honestly, I can't even tell you. Okay, we'll learn it. Any of my class? Tristan? Good term. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 know Ryan. Yeah. I know you got. The band. 
But bam, there you go. Whenever we use a different phase from the primary, we have to, I mean, I'm going phase. Here, let's just try this one. Right a to B. This is a one phase of primary A. This is from one phase of primary B. Whatever happens on the primary side happens on the secondary side. Okay? What's phase to phase voltage from A to B here? 4160. So 2400 and multiply by 1.7325, you're going to get 4160. Same things happen on the secondary side. If I took 277 and put 277 together, A to B, it's the same thing. 277 times 1.7325 equals 480. Okay? Remember that magic number. Whenever you start using two or more transformers, and you need to do the phase to ground of both transformers combined, you got to use that number. Why? Ooh, that's the big question. Why? Are any voltages at their peak at the same time? This is from the generating station. No. We bounced all the way back to that. I can't have A, C, or B peaking at the same time. Rather than go through all that elaborate math, time domain stuff, somebody was nice enough to give this number to us and say, whenever you need to do a phase-to-phase -phase voltage, you just take the phase-to-ground voltage and multiply it by 1.7325. If that's happening up here, it's going to happen down here. Make sense? Mm -hmm. everybody, everybody here, Professor B, anything else you like to include? No, that's good. Okay. Uh, Tom. Take a turn. Take a turn. Let's take a turn. Take about uh, 15 minutes of this. Okay. Uh, All right. 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 All Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the boys have been doing drugs here. You said we it's part of it. I see eyes looking up going, I don't know why I'm back, do I get one single voltage out of it? Yes. Yes. Do the one you think should be changed. Yes. Yes. I need to change from AC to BD instead of ABCP. A lot of students just forget that. For you guys that are online, you just want to hand practice this. Draw in your own ABC N lines on the top and ABC N lines on the bottom. We're doing a practice around here. Right there. there you go. Can they see that? Draw a little closer. Closer, closer, closer. Yeah. Sure can. That would probably better if you just took a picture of it and put it in, in remind take a picture of it put it in remind that's an excellent idea Yeah, uh, Logan, I got your uh, text also. It, it's even further away than it is now. 
frustrating. But uh, let you know everything is new. everything's being recorded too. Okay. Yeah, everything in the back is blurred, even the front row. Uh, appreciate the info, man. Appreciate the info. So, announcements. Fall 2021, next, file, and... You got questions, let us know. That's the time. Remember, if you cheat off somebody else, it might be wrong. yeah you're done want me to look at it let me know Yeah. 
How we doing? You look see? Let's see. We're with everybody. Yeah, look at you. Look at you trying to mess with me like that. Don't get mad. You're in my life. I'll put it back to the thing. You want to go back to the thing? Which one is? Which one is? 
You need some assistance, please let me know now because we're going to move to another bank. No. Come. What's up, bud? Did I leave a marker over there? Yep. Thank you. 
Somebody go ahead and pull out the closed delta sheet. Closed. Uh, 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 What's the So I've got extra sheets. So if you want to pull out a blank one of these right now and follow along with me, that's fine. Then we'll give you another blank sheet to do it without any And remember, guys, we're just practicing here. You're just practicing. So I'm sure he can catch up to this part. Closed delta, how many transformers do I need? Three. three. There's a specific reason why I pulled closed delta first. You'll realize it here a little bit. So I'm going to draw in three transforms. The top line, read it all the way through to the end. Every sheet has it. What's the last sentence? Do the transformer secondary one be changed? No, no, no. Only the Y bank. So make sure that when you do this for real, when we have a quiz on it, you write that in. So on the, the Y bank, you get changed. Change it to ACE. AC. Correct. Correct. What like happens? And run my bushings in. And when I see that, I'm just going to somebody to be able to talk to you here in just a moment. Which one you work on now? Closed up. I know because he's helping them out. He probably hasn't done this. I saw a couple of papers out there, but you usually did your drawing. Let's see if I can do something right here that looks similar. Transform. 
I'm not worried about these X designations or H designations in your drawings, but I want to show you something that I saw a couple times. When you're doing your drawings here, think of the lids of the transformer. Everything from that point goes up. Right? Everything from the secondary bushes here goes down. I saw some drawings right here where I have phase going from here to the secondary. Well, that's going to be a massive explosion. Right? Uh, that's just not going to work. Or the neutral came from here and went down. Think of this as the primary side. Think of this as the secondary side. Everything lit up. Everything secondary down. So you have a Correct. Correct. That's why I did this throughout the background and this one here also. If you took H down to here, all you have 7,200 volts on the secondary side. And that's why we use transformers. They make no physical contact. similar that we did in Y as far as our primary, to be honest with you, other than open delta, Y and closed delta primary is the same. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go, you're right, I'm going to go A, I'm going to go B, and I'm going to go C. Okay, takes care of my primary. I'm going to go from H2 to H2. H2, this is not on the paper, this is the only bank that does this. Does the H2 connect to neutral here? It does not. It's a floating neutral. Okay. Rob, did you get into the reason why? Floating neutral, yeah. We talked about the circular terms. Uh, you, uh, oh, what I saw yesterday? Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Okay, I'm, we're going to go into a little bit more after that. All right. Uh, you said lighting and power, right? Yes. All right. Just, I'll put this over here. Professor B uses power for Y hands. Highlight. 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 So whenever I say either one, they're both the same. It's just terminology of the company. Which one is my lighting transport? In the middle. In the middle. Okay. You don't need to include that on the paper, but it just keeps my mind right. So you want to wire this transformer just like you would wire a house by itself. Where does the center bushing go? Are we going to hand out the drawings? Thank God. I don't know. Oh, the um, spec drawings. Yeah, we need, we'll, we'll do that today on YouTube. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to tell you, this one, I'm going to do a little bit different from yesterday because the drawings show it this way. I'm going to take this bushing to B. I'm going to take this bushing to C. Mm -hmm. B, C. Mm, we have to take the highlight somewhere else. And, you know, we'll get into that. That's a great question. Great question. All right. What do I need to do to interconnect the transformers? Yeah, tie them. That's exactly what we're going to say. We're going to tie them together with the tying bus. Don't do any distance changes here. What's closest to closest? H3. There you go. That's perfect. Now, what one secondary wire have I not made contact with yet? Okay. Okay. Both go to A. Remember, closed delta, what kind of, let's go through all three. Why transformer three phase? Why do we use Y? What's the purpose out there as far as the business that we're being with Y? What kind of load do they have? Single phase and three phase. We've got a balanced single phase and three phase load. Uh, how about open delta? Why do I go to Oliver's freeze to death with an open delta fan? 
more single phase and one air conditioning unit, which really works. Why do I use closed belts? I'm at camp for over there, and they're running motors and saws out of the plant, so I need more three phase and some single phase. So that's why we actually use two transformers to get that third phase right there. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. We've got this eight phase designated as your colleague, correct? Correct. Right, yesterday, my class, we used C just to make a homily. Okay. Um, our our comment got it where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. C was always our homily. Yeah. 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 On the secondary side, that's the way that that's the way Why don't you mark it in my class that either you can use A or C in my class? And as long as you tell me, you know, designated as a high leg, we could be good. Just understand which one's the high leg and why. Okay. Javier just asked that question. I mean, I'm going to fall back and punt on mine right here also. Okay. I wanted to show you, and I don't know why it's this way, the Sandy Cooper provides the back drawing with a high leg on A. So if you get the picture with Professor, e, uh, Professor Schumacher didn't teach us like that. I want you to see the same similar. So I'm going to back this up here, my Professor D, to the C phase. And there's a reason for it. Mm -hmm. uh, wiring, am I done? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do voltages here. I'm just going to do FCC. 19,900. Damn. Damn. 19,900. It's all free. Okay. Uh, phase to phase, 34, 5. 5, K. Bam, bam, bam. This is here, here, here. Secondary voltages. One, two, three. I'm going to start with C first. Which one? I'm going to start with D next. 120. Let's start with A. 208. Is somebody stopping it? That would be me. That would be you. Why? Do I get on my A phase, which is my hot, my high leg transformers? Why am I getting 208? Times it by 1.7. That is the solution. Why? But why am I having the times it by 1.7325? Three phase, one of them heavy, out of order. Yeah, just remember you're using a different primary phase. You're combining a different primary phase. But I took the first two, B. And C, how many phases was I using? One. One. Okay. When I took A, I'm taking part of this transformer and part of that transformer. That's why I'm getting 208 and part of that transformer. That's why I'm getting 208 to 1.7325. I'm now using this phase, this phase, and this phase to get my voltage. Okay? Uh, 120 and 12208. Robbie? Sure. Can you find a picture of a three phase reader base? Mm -hmm. And, oops, sorry, we went over here. Two four. A, B, C, A, C, two four. I will, once you find that, I will draw one over here similar to what you've got. Sitting inside of the perfect, perfect. In that one or that one? Uh, either that one, that one. Uh oh. That's all right. Screw it up. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Control plus, 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 plus. Control. So your phase to phase on the secondary is still going to all be the same. That's right. Then it's two to the. Yeah. Precisely. So, I have completed it on the board, and I'm getting ready to erase it and go back to Professor B's method right here, because this is what's going to happen out here on the board. He put an actual meter base, so this is what's going to be going on to whatever the business is. You'll notice on the left-hand side, step up here real quick. You guys online, if you bring up a picture of a three-phase meter base, they're all pretty much the same. This is neutral. 
this is one hot leg, this is the next hot leg, this is the next hot leg. How many wires do I have coming out of my transform? A, B, C, N. Four. Four. So this is what's going into whatever we're trying to feed right here. Neutral is always going to be on the left-hand side. Now, let's bounce back to the quiz we had yesterday. How do I color my phases? A, B, C. Red, white, blue. Red, white, blue. This, this is an industry standard, and it they're going to try to make it as simple as possible. I'm going to put A, B, C. That way when I hook up my rotation meter, which we'll show you here in a little bit, I'm going to go color. Red. There you go. I'll tell you all about the rotation meter here in a second. <coughs> so back over here, I'm just going to draw the lugs. Neutral. One, two, three. Red, white, blue. A phase, B phase, C phase. Okay, watch out. I leg. Pretty sure you do this the same way, right, Professor? Yes. The high leg always goes on the far right hand side. How many bolts does it have on it here for us? Right. If I put it in the wrong position here, what should have 120 on it is now going to have 208, and that would be a bad day. You're going to mess up any kind of 120 piece of equipment. Okay. So high leg goes on the right hand side of the meter base when you wire it in every single time. But that does not jive with my drawing. That, that's where I get kind of complicated. It's a company supplied schematic drawing. Where do they have the highlight? A. A. So let's fix it. Let's get rid of some secondary here. And if anybody's thinking about it, So I move this to A, B. Where's my high leg? Where does it need to go? C. That's the way you did it yesterday, correct? Correct. Now I've satisfied what the customer needs, what I need and the customer needs on their side. Once the drawing, I just I just want to make sure we're going to get a drawing in D2L well that shows, well, heck, it's on A phase, the high leg's on A phase. If you draw that drawing on that sheet, it'll be correct. If you draw this drawing on the sheet, it'll be correct. Both ways. Yes, sir. How you going to change the voltages, the voltages around? I do. I do. What is C phase now? 208. And what is A phase? Excellent. Thank you. Yes, it's still on the main 240 on that left. All right. What time you got? 9.30. 9.30? So that's good about 45 minutes. All right. Just, you're ready to rock, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just to let you know, you'll run into some cases where you're going to have to discriminate between the electrician's wire, there's no wire in the meter space, and your wire. How will an electrician color his wire? Does anybody remember that from the other day? Yellow, white, brown? When you were about six years old, how, what were you, a man or a boy? Well, a little boy. Okay, you're a little boy. <laughs> you were what? You were a little boy. Yeah, I know you got excited. You little brown, orange, yellow. Oh, wow, he's easy. We're on video. Brown, orange, yellow. Orange, yellow. P-O-Y. Okay. And that's what you do. I just put tape around your cable that shows, well, this is my responsibility. This is the electrician's responsibility. Everything behind that. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. 
Uh, one other cool point to this picture before we take a break here. Do you draw that on this? No. Did you? Yeah. Oh. One other cool thing out here. I mean, you, you guys can change the meetings out, I'm pretty sure. On three phase, you see this handle right here? First, what's this meter secondary that we put in? What's it going to be? A home, a business, no, not home. A business, this is three phase. A business, uh, Oliver's, Oliver's, Taco Bell, Burger King, whatever. So you need to come out here and do a meter change, and it's 12 noon. Well, what happens if you pull the meter out? You know, the power. Well, the power goes off. This has got a bypass handle in it. So like re it. You lift the handle up. There's a connection in the middle where the bars meet. You pull the meter out, and it actually loosens the jaw away. Put your new meter in. Throw your handle back down. Pass back up. You never know they have no electricity. Pretty cool, huh? So that's for like a meter that where they track like how much electricity you use, right? All electric meters do that, oh, yes. Uh, we'll get more into meters later on. There are time of day demand type meters yet that you're going to see out there. But uh, that right there is a blessing if you've got a business. I mean, think of it. And they're at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. I'm going to take the whole convention center out. Just meter out. Another nice factor of this, too, is uh, how much load is that business carrying? A lot. 200, 300 amps, right? What's going to happen if you just pull the meter out? It's going to draw an arc on it. Just throw the handle up. No loss of connection. Take 15. That would be 950, correct. Thank <laughs> you.